Jehovah reigns. Jehovah reigns. You are lifted up above other gods. You are lifted up above other gods. Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Molara Obiwumi, the pastor in charge of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Seat of Mercy, Williamstown, New Jersey, and the Visionary for Kingdom Dwells International. Blessed day to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord will make his countenance to shine upon you and give you peace. In every area of your life, you will receive peace in Jesus' name. Today is our Bible study. Today we want to talk about the truth will set you free. How will the truth set you free? But before we go into this, and what is the truth? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for waking us up again this morning. It's been a week that we did this Bible study, and we are here again because you have kept us. Father, we do not take it for granted. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, we are asking that you come and teach us today. Open your words unto us. I surrender my tongue. I surrender my thoughts. I surrender my Lord, my God, my speech to your hands. Holy Spirit, take control. Holy Spirit, teach us. Uh, enlighten us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Today, we want to talk about, like I said, the truth shall set you free. The truth shall set you free. We'll look, look at the book of um, John chapter 8. I'll read 32 to 36. John 8, 32 to 36. Hallelujah. Um, chapter 32, it says, hmm, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be, we will be made free? <laughs> Jesus answered them, Most assuredly I say to you, Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And as a slave does, does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if, if the son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. May the Lord bless this word in our hearts in Jesus' name. So when we talk about truth, what is truth? The truth is the act of saying what is right or the opposite of lies. Everybody knows what a lie is. So the opposite of lie is the truth. So we say the truth is the opposite of lie and we are saying the truth has set you free. From two uh, points of view, I will look at the truth today. The first one, if you look at the book of John chapter 14, verse 6, the Bible says, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father but by me. Praise the Lord. So, that is confirming that Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. And Again, John 8, 36, the son of, when the son shall set you free, you will be free indeed. He's talking that we shall know the truth, the truth shall set you free. And he goes ahead and say, when the son of man set you free, you will be free indeed. That statement is implying that he is the truth. So if Jesus is the truth, how do we receive freedom from knowing the truth? The Bible tells us in the book of John, chapter 16, verse, um, John chapter 3, verse 16. John 3, 16. I will read John 3, 16 first. Then we go to John 16. Um, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, whosoever, that whosoever believe in him, should not perish but have everlasting life. So it means that for you to, I mean, to know the truth, you have to believe in the Son. If the Son shall set you free, you will be free indeed. For you to know the truth, you have to believe in the Son. The Son is the one that can set you free. The, the, the Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 16 and uh, verse 13 that the Holy Spirit for the purpose of timing. The Holy Spirit 
is the truth. The, uh, the, uh, uh, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. We have um, had a, a Bible passage here, I mean a Bible study here that we said that Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, and God the Father are the same. Three personalities, but they are one. So the Bible says the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. Jesus Christ is the truth. So any other thing apart from that is a lie. Jesus is the truth. Hallelujah. So we know Jesus is the truth. So, and that the way we can know him is to give our life to him, to believe in him. The Bible says, except a man be born again, John 3, 3, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Do you want to see the kingdom of God? So you will need to know the truth. From that bondage you are in, he is able to set you free. From that problem you are in, he is able to give you solution. All he's telling you is to know him, is to believe him. John chapter 1. Verses 11 and 12 says, As many, he came to his own, his, no, receive, his own receive him not. But as many that receive him, to them he has given power to become sons of God. If you receive the truth, it will give you power to be free from all bondages. Hallelujah. Then I am employing you from here that you should give your life to Jesus. Believe in him so that you will know the truth, so that you will be free indeed. And another way we can look at the truth you know, we are doing Bible study, is that we know, the, like I said earlier, the truth is opposite of lie. I will quickly tell us a, a short um, story before I go on on that. There, was a, uh, there were two boys living with their grandma, uh, Peter and John. One day, Peter was coming by accident, stepped on grandma's dog, and grandma's dog died. And um, the, uh, he took the dog and buried the dog. But as soon as he finished burying the dog, John said, Peter, I saw you. I saw everything you did. You just, um, you just buried grandma's dog. I'm going to tell grandma. Peter said, John, I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Grandma is going to be mad. Then uh, John said, okay, only one option. If you will continue to do whatever I tell you to do, then I won't tell grandma. So for a very long time, every time they give um, John food, I mean, they give Peter food, John will say, oh, uh, Peter doesn't want the food that we eat it. When they send John to do, go and do something, he will say, oh, Peter would love to help me. And it took a while. Peter was getting lean. Grandma kept asking him, Peter, are you okay? He said, yes, I'm okay, Grandma. So why are you giving all your food to Peter? You always love this. He said, no, uh, to John. So, oh, no, Grandma, it's nothing. Then one day, he just thought, this punishment is more than Grandma would have given me. Let me go and report myself to Grandma. So what did he do? Called Grandma and told Grandma, Grandma, I'm sorry, this is what happened. One day I was walking and I, was mistakenly, ste I mistakenly stepped on your dog. And the dog died. And when you were asking after your dog, all I was saying was that I didn't know. Because with me, I, 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 John caught me and said he will not tell on, uh, on this and that. And grandma said, oh, sorry, my son. It is good it, you decided to punish yourself for so long. Because that day I was looking at you from the window. I saw everything. And you re re decided to be in bondage. And now that you have come... To tell the truth, you are free from the bondage of John. Then John didn't know Peter had gone to confess to Grandma. The moment he came back, he wanted John to uh, Peter to still give him his food. And guess what? Peter said, no, I already confessed to Grandma. That is how we are with the devil when we tell lies. Because lies always keep us down. Lies always keep us down. Lies always give, keep us down. So we have to learn to tell the truth always. So the, when, uh, lie, 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 when we lie, as long as that lie is still pending, that you will have to be looking for bigger things to cover that and bigger things to cover that. And that is why you will see a scene of stealing candy turning to murder because you have to cover this, cover this, cover this until... 
I mean, until or, or, or you can't cover it anymore. So the Bible says, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Just like if you are not born again, if you don't know Christ, if you don't know the Word of God, that the Word of God says the Lord that the Lord is able to 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 uh, to take away our illness, to take away our sin. You don't know the Word, and that is the Word of the of the Lord. The Bible tells us. In the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 2, that he is the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. If we don't know that, we will be in bondage forever when we are sick. We don't know we have somebody who has healing in his wings that can heal us. In the book of Exodus, the Lord tells us he is the Lord that healed us. If we do not know that, we don't know the truth, we will remain in bondage. But also, if we are liars, if we know how to tell lies, we remain in bondage forever. If we do not give our life to Jesus, we remain in bondage forever. Hallelujah. If we look at the book of Revelation 22 verse 15, it says uh, uh, outside are the liars, the whoremongers, the, uh, the, the thieves, and so on and so forth. But liars outside are the dogs. Anyone that does not know God is a dog. That was why when this woman, one woman went to Jesus and said, Lord, I need you to heal my child. Jesus told him, we can't give the food, the food of a child to a dog. And the woman said, okay, even dogs have crumbs. So if you are somebody that is still lying, you don't know the truth that is the Lord Jesus, then you are a dog. And the Bible says in heaven, outside are the dogs. You will not be a dog. I will not be a dog in Jesus' name. Also, in the book of 1 Timothy, let me quickly open that. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 10. 1 Timothy 1 10. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in verse 10, For the immoral, for sexual perverts, for kidnappers, for those who lie and give false testimony, or who do anything else contrary to sound doctrine, are outside. They will not make heaven. We will make heaven in Jesus' name. So the Bible is telling us that it is the truth that can set us free. If you find yourself in a situation that you have to make up your mind to tell the truth or to lie, just tell the truth. Because by the time you tell the truth, the worst thing is that you will be punished and you will go. It makes me remember a day when I was coming from church with my children it was a long time ago. The policeman stopped me and said, where are you coming from? Which one was easier for me to have said from church? Or oh, I want to pick up my children. And at the end of the day, when I said I want to pick up my children, he still gave me tickets. And up till today, it's been like, I'm talking about like nine years ago or so. I still feel bad within me that why did I lie? There was no reason to lie because I was afraid. Fear is one of those things that make us go into lie. That do not allow us to tell the truth. But whatever situation you have told lie before, find a way to tell the truth. Make restitution so that you will be free. So that you won't be looking for one thing to cover another and cover another. And at the end of the day, one will, make it, may, may, will not make it to heaven. Why are we on earth? We are pilgrims here. Our destination is heaven. And if you don't make it to heaven, what will be? Especially those of us that are born again right now. What will be our reward? What will be our reward? In conclusion... The Bible in, in the book of John chapter 4, uh, verse 24 says, God is seeking those that will worship him in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. God is seeking those that will worship him.